Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of the How To series and in this episode today we are going to look at how you can get the Mac or iOS 9 or iOS 10 like fonts on your Android device. Trust me, it looks beautiful and as a preview we will just see it in the Twitter app. So as you can see it's very good, it's very pretty and I really like this over the default Android fonts. So this works system wide within all the apps and even within the Android system menus as you can see over here so it's a pretty easy process but the only thing that you need to remember before you go ahead with this process is that you need root access because without root access the system partitions won't be modified so you need a free app along with this and you need to download a font file with the link for which will be down in the description below so to get started the first thing you would like to do is get that actual font file so Go ahead in the description and check out a link for this file which is the Yosemite San Francisco font and go ahead and download that file which will be a zip file so you can extract that to a folder with using your file manager. Just in case if the file manager that came with your phone does not support opening zip files you can go ahead and download ES file explorer. The first thing that you have to do is of course download the file so once you are done with that and extracted the file you can just go to play store and download an app called HiFont. So, so there you go that's the HiFont app which is a free app we'll just go ahead and install that. Now one thing I'd like to mention as the app downloads is that you won't be needing to keep this app installed even after applying the fonts so you just need to, this app to install the font and get it started so after that you can just get rid of the app itself because it keeps running in the background and will eat up some ram so and take up battery power so just do your work with the app and let it go so after you have downloaded the app open the app once okay so once it had opened up uh, skip the ad open up the app and then minimize it now we do this because so that it creates a high font folder inside our file manager or inside our phone's file system so once that is done again go back to your file manager go back to the zip file that you just unzipped so get into that and copy the second folder that you get so you unzip the file you get a folder you go inside it you get another folder you take that and copy it to internal storage and you find the folder called high font so there you go high font and you paste it over here so I have already done that but you can just paste it over here and I'll just do replace all so once that is done go back again in the high font app okay so go to the menu and go to my font so while you are there in my font, go to custom font and you can see all the fonts that I have just copied into the high font folder. So out of this, as you can see, the one I chose is actually the SFNS text medium. So that is the one that I have currently applied or the preview that you saw, which I showed you just before. So if you like that, choose that. If you want something else, choose that. After applying, you just need to reboot your phone and after your reboot, you will be able to see the new font. So once that is done, all that is done, you can just take the high font app and uninstall it and your font will still be applied and it will still persist even after a reboot, etc. So if you're really interested in the layout that you see over here, which is the pixel launcher like layout, I did a video on this on how you can get this for free using all free apps except Nova Prime if you want to increase the icon size etc. Beyond that you don't have to use Nova Prime either. So if you're really interested in checking that out, the link for will, will pop up right over here somewhere and it will also be down in the description below. So that's pretty much it from this video. Thank you guys for staying till the end of this video. And if you are new here and if you'd like to see more videos of this kind, consider subscribing. As always, you have to remember that most of my video ideas come from people like you, the Windrider community. So once again, thanks you guys for staying till the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.